Welcome to Birth of America 2, a American, early American war simulator by AG, Age OD Games. A Giad, A G E O D, I don't know how to pronounce it, someone has to tell me. A uh, couple things about this game it is the standard AG Odd game, uh, and it with the same typical AG Odd playstyle where you're moving armies around and attacking. And the, all the AG uh, Odd games have very similar style with regards to how the battles work and how armies work, etc. One of the things I love about this game. Soundtrack is cool with the music. I just love the music to this game. It sounds great. Uh, pushing the mood for this drum and fife, pushing the mood for some colonial battle action, and it's just great stuff. Uh, however, I'm not going to play with the music on because I'm trying to think it's kind of a distraction. But first few minutes of a battle of the game, having that music and the drum and fife going, very cool. Very, very cool. Really love the the music to this game. I think it's fantastic. All right, well, let's give this game a try, and uh, we'll get going here. Let's close this window. We're going to play a very simple scenario called the uh, Pequot War. The Pequot War was fought between the colonists um, and the Pequot Indians uh, in between 1636 and 1637. We, of course, will play as Great Britain. Here we go. And our objective is going to be to take um, the main Pequot village, which is named Pequot Village. Um, the other village over here, Mrs. Stook, if you can take it, great. Uh, but <laughs> I've played this thing twice. I've, I've not done well. And I suspect I won't do well again. But we're going to give it a shot. Um, so we've got... Um, in this particular game, there's only eight turns, so it's not very long, and we're going to have to figure out a way to uh, defeat the um, other tribes. Now, the, the, the war itself was fought. Uh, there was a, a trading ship, apparently, that, that was grounded, and the Pequot Indians were um, and apparently pillaged, and the Pequot, Pequot Indians were blamed for it, and no one ever quite solved the mystery but the Pequot War started. The Mohegans, uh, Indians, and the Narragansett tribe also joined with the British to fight the Pequots. Uh, and so we had uh, Indians versus uh, natives versus natives. And of course, the local population had been decimated by smallpox. The British have some um, Boston, Hartford, Fort Saybrook, and Providence here. Uh, there's troops in all these locations, but most of them are locked down. So uh, this particular village has some some uh, Mohegan war warriors who are not locked down. This village is, has one. Um, this little number here tells you the fortification level of the village. This one has a one fortification level. So we're going to try to take uh, Mrs. Stuck first, and then the Pequot village second, and then Wangunk village third. Um, so here's how we're going to do that. We're going to move this unit here to Mrs. Stook. And they're, they're on defensive posture, which is good. And then we've got these Narragansett warriors here. We're going to move them here as well and besiege that position. And here we go. No idea what the other guys are going to do. This was a short, relatively short war with the British and their allies winning. I haven't had the same amount of luck. That about does it. There we go. The troops have arrived at New London. In six days, they've consolidated their forces. No, they haven't. Why not? Let's do that. No, still not. Okay, hold on. There we go. Finally? No? Okay, that's fine. There we go. Finally. And we're going to keep them on that same posture, and they're besieging that village there, so hopefully we'll be able to do 
do some damage to it relatively quickly. These guys are on lockdown. These guys are on lockdown. And why this guy's still on lockdown, I'll never know. You're fighting a war, dude. Let's get going. Turn two of eight. So we've got Mrs. Stuck under siege. Hopefully we'll be able to take it. Oh, we breached the defenses. That's good. I don't know if I want to just move on now that I'm, I'll attack it. Expeditionary force suffered three damage due to bad weather. What expeditionary force? This one? Oh, yeah, they took some, some casualties. Well, I don't know how, what kind of troops they have in there, but I think we ought to assault them. Let's get that done. And he can't do anything this turn, and nobody else can either, so let's see if we can take this village. Oh. Good deal. Mrs. Stuck Village is captured. And we have hurt our enemies. And for whatever reason, our leader, Miantanamo, left our troops the minute we took that village and went back north to the Mohegan Village, probably because he had done his bit. Meanwhile, I've got this Mohegan unit. That's all I've got left that I can maneuver. And I think what I'm going to do with him is I am going to garrison There we go. We'll have them enter that structure there. So they garrison Mrs. Stuck. Did I do anything? Nope. Nothing. And what do I got over here? We're in a defensive power. But now we've got one of the villages and we're in a defensive posture. Haven't fired a shot. We're in turn three. A couple of things about this uh, interface which are pretty uh, easy to figure out. And he is um, still working on, okay, they've stopped their siege of the Mohegan village, which is good. We have failed to engage enemy messes took villages in the area of Worcester. That's all right. And these guys are still locked down. Merchant's still here. What do we got here with the Boston Garrison? They still can't do anything. What about these guys? Can't do anything, can't do anything. Mrs. Stuck, I'm going to hold it. Fort Saybrook, nothing. And Hartford, nothing. And I think what... I know they'll get reinforcements at Hartford. When I get them, I'm going to salt into the Pequot village. Hopefully, we'll get some... And then we can finish this war up. And these guys will hopefully... Free up. This is the this is the third time I played this battle and or this campaign. It's very quick. Just trying to get the a feel for the game. And th this is the only scenario I've had that hasn't been a bloodbath up to this point, where they're just attacking everywhere. So I'm not sure what what's going on. And John Mason shows up, and of course he looks just like Mel Gibson from The Patriot. And I love how they do that with this guy. They just, they just take whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever they've got. This guy looks just like Mel Gibson from The Patriot. John Mason. A five command rating. And he's got some natives and, uh, natives, uh, and Connecticut militia as well. So I think what we want to do 
is I want to move. Are you at least released now too? Are you? You are too. Gotcha. So I'm going to advance um, John Endicott's unit. And can I, what about the Boston Garrison? They're stuck in there too, right? Okay, good. That's fine. I'm going to advance the Massachusetts militia down to the Pequot village. And I'm going to uh, march them. Uh, whoops. With, I think I'm going to put them in offensive posture. Here. Oh, whoa. He's got, he's got to go up this way. Okay. And I'm going to march these guys. Put them in offensive posture. Actually, let's move them to defensive posture. Let's do the same thing with these guys. And I'm going to move these guys to here. And hopefully what we'll get is our forces aligning in about 17 days. And if all works out well, they won't be engaged. Oh, we got attacked. And it looks like we're... Ooh, it's, a, it's a fight. And we're starting to swing it in our favor. It was bloody. Stalemate. Bloody battle. And now we got the numbers, it looks like. British defeat. We lost 92 to their 30. I'm hoping these units consolidated and Mel Gibson's troops did not get wiped out. John Mason's troops did not get wiped out. Oh good, they did consolidate. Oh, we took the village too. Nice. Um, now we got to take the Pequot village and um, win the war. I think what I'm going to do is move the expeditionary force here. And boy, they don't have a lot of power. They, oh, down here in the lower right hand corner, this is the maximum food and that's your ammunition. So they've got food and ammunition. They're they're doing pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. There we go. I'm gonna leave one unit behind. And I'm gonna leave them in a defensive posture. And I'm going to tell them to enter the building. Go. A garrison what I've taken. And move down to the Pequot village here. Which is now under siege. Middleton. Okay, that's yeah. All right, good deal. So he's he's not besieging. He's like he's raiding. We got him under siege, and we've got a strong force, and I've got a defensive force here, a defensive force here, on um, the militia here. Can I get these guys? Nope, they're still locked up. What about these guys over here? Any of these? And. Could move these guys over from here, but I don't want to lose either of these other villages I've taken. And I've garrisoned them, and if I can take this village, and lock this thing up. Ah, uh, the, 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 okay, we still, it looks like we've, pillage the area so it's going to start affecting our supplies but unfortunately we we're not able to break 
their defenses structures intact so I think we're on the last turn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these guys in assault posture which means I could lose a lot of men we're fully supplied um, if as I talked to you about in the other these two bars the purple one is cohesion and the bar to the right is strength of the unit so these guys have taken suffered some losses we do have a supply wagon so that's good and I've got to go for the win here I think this is the last month of the campaign. Might as well go for it. Do it. Doesn't look like they went to assault. Oh, they moved away. Huh. Stalemate. Your score, 27. Opponent score, 36. So it was the close. They had a higher score than I, I had, and I cannot believe that. I took two of their village. They took none of mine. I don't get it. How did I stalemate? Uh, they, I don't understand why we retreated. They must have had an overwhelming force to attack me with there. There you go. That is uh, Birth of America 2. And that was the Pequot War scenario. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, am enjoying Birth of America 2 and look forward to playing some more of it. If you have played these games or any of the uh, Jihad uh, series, let me know what you think. And let me know if I'm missing something with my play style uh, because I, I do get reinforcements. The uh, Alea Ayakta S game is a little bit easier with the reinforcements to know what's happening. This one, they just kind of place your troops and you do get reinforcements when you lose troops from out of your reinforcement pool. Um, but I sure did not have um, very many forces to fight this battle. And it was pretty even, pretty even fight all around. So stalemate in the Pequot War. Hope you enjoyed the battle as much as I did. I'll see you next time on the battlefield. Thanks a lot.